Okay, here's the deal. Pick, you, picture this. You're at, a, you're at a gathering, family gathering or company gathering or, or whatever. And there's always that one person who is just going to really be annoying, inappropriate, and you just can't stand that person. And that annoying person might might know your triggers, might know what upsets you, and they might try to, you know, debate you uh, to get you stirred up and, and to cause a scene, to get you angry, ruin and ruin your and ruin the gathering for you, ruin to get ruin to get together, and say. Say you're a conserv conservative, that you're conservative pol politically, and they're not. So they might say something about, about uh, Trump or Reagan or whatever. And they might start extolling Obama and talk about how great Biden is or whatever. You know, something like that. And they and they might and they're looking right at you with a kind of a smile on their face, knowing they're trying to trigger you. It's annoying. You know, you're trying to have you're trying to enjoy yourself at a party. So what you do is you have two choices. You can take the bait and get in a fight and make everybody around an argument get in a, make everybody around you uncomfortable for this chump which is exactly what he wants what you know or you can walk away just take your drink and walk away the smart thing to do is just walk away people play games Oh, I took an intro to psychology course back in the 80s. And there's this thing called transactional analysis. And, and people have tra make transactions, they play games. And one game is, you know, well, I'm going to say something, trigger somebody, and get them to go on a rant and ruin their day. Or, you know, it's just like a puppet. Puppet master, you know, they're, they're pulling the cords, pulling the strings, and to get you to do what they want you to do, for their own amusement, amusement or for power or manipulation to get something they want. And so, what you do is, you don't play the game. You don't take the bait. Uh, you look at them, smile, and say whatever, and go on and just. Go on, go on to what you're talking about, or you walk away. And it's like everything else; it's not easy to do, especially if you had a party and you had a few drinks, or whatever. And so, that's one way, one one type of annoying person to to deal with. That's you just walk away. And if you had a family gathering, and it happens, where it's not so easy to walk away, just just. Just blow it off. You don't have to respond. Just because somebody says something to you does not mean you have to. Not responding, it's not, a sign, it's not a sign of weakness. Not taking the bait is a sign of strength. You know? You control your actions, control your thoughts. Okay? Control your responses, and I don't. I'm not perfect at it. I don't do it. Sometimes I want to fight to be fighting. My dad was like that, and that's. I, I am my father's son. So you don't have to rise up to everything you see on the internet. You don't have to argue with everything you hear. You know. Just, just walk away. 
So that's how you deal with annoying people. That's one way. The positive way. You know, I mean, you don't want to... You don't want to say or do something that gets you in trouble or break relationships or get put in jail or lose a job. Things like that. You know? Control your thoughts, control your words, and control your actions. And that's all I got for today. Leave me more comments. And... And I'll see you all next time.